Thank you very much for staying tuned. Father Brooks has joined me here in the studio. Father, I wanted to say thank you. Last week, we talked about being a zero. You actually gave me a math test and I failed, which was brutal. But There it is. <laughs> number one, negative, number positive. One. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But being a zero. And the interesting thing is it resonated with me so much that I took it out into my work life, into my private life, and talked with multiple people, and it resonated with them as well. Not that I was necessarily being the zero for them, but sort of enticing them to be zero for others. Let, let's, let's go review, back. Let's, let's review. review yeah. a little bit. Yeah, no, uh, it was a retreat I had before I was ordained a priest, uh, talking about being a placeholder. The zero doesn't have value on the number line. It holds the place so that every other integer, positive and, positive and negative, knows where it is, right. is able to have value, and is able to interrelate with each other. And, and so this is exactly, Rick, contrarian, as you've been hearing, contrarian to our culture which oh, is yeah. about putting ourselves in the middle, making the story, the narrative about us, our needs, uh, our wants, and fulfilling those needs. Right. This is completely opposite. Every religious tradition provides wisdom on this point, uh, that we are for other people. Yep. And <clears throat> um, that that is the secret to a fulfilling life, a much more fulfilling life. I hate to say this in resort land, but a much more fulfilling life than uh, simply looking to our own needs. Well, and so I want to thank you. Thank you for that discussion because it, it raised a bunch of uh, additional discussions and I'm asking people to be <coughs> zeros for others. Switch gears. Any resort, very intense. We're intense during the summertime because it's a resort community. We're intense right now. It's ski season. We act like we're going to be off season, not as intense. That's when we all travel and do all of that. So we live this intense life. To be a zero for other people is hard if you can't find your own balance. So talk to us about that. Where do we um, reach out for help? <clears throat> well, no, so um, I think I said last week, the sound that everyone's hearing in the valley uh, is, is the sound of our local population hitting the winter wall. Correct. And it's not a pretty sound. Uh, we got through the holidays and uh, we're in a long winter. It's a big winter. There are a lot of people in town. Uh, hey, let's enjoy the Edwards uh, Village Market parking lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so that's when it's hard to be a Christian. I can't, you know, I can't believe you just did that. Um, so I anyway, uh, and, and, and invariably it's somebody I know. Uh, of course, and so, you just gotta wave. Uh, so <laughs> for ourselves and for others, you have to know when to reach out for help. People tell us, the society tells us that we can't do that. Um, and we have mental health crises all over our country and in Eagle County. Absolutely. Uh, and so we need to know when to ring the bell, when to tap out, when to say, hey, I need help, uh, I'm living an imbalanced life, I'm doing things to my body, I'm thinking dark thoughts, um, I'm not reaching out, I'm not having real conversations with people, uh, I'm living, I, I don't know, remember the last three weeks. Um, right. Hey, friends, that's when the, the warning bell goes off and that's when you need help. Um, we have been doing a lot of work in our community on mental health. Mm -hmm. All the best counselors are full, I won't use names, but um, they're, they're, they're up against the wall. All the clergy, we're up against the wall too, our schools. Um, I want to point out Hope Center, uh, Eagle River Valley, Hope Center. There's a crisis line. You can go right to the internet. Uh, Vail right. Daily, I believe, has that website too. Hope Center, um, and that's new for students. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you know our EMT population has a mental health component Ooh, absolutely. Uh, embedded in the EMT emergency in the response, in the right? Right. Yep. So, <clears throat> uh, which I think is brilliant. Um, and M Mind Springs, uh, and Mind Springs is a good safety net. It may not be your last stop, but for many people, it's your first stop. Uh, Mind Springs, uh, Hope Center, these are places you can just call. Uh, don't worry about money first. Right. Just call. Yep. Uh, we have lots of resources uh, for that. Health and Human Services, Eagle County. Uh, all of your churches, we have people walk in all the time, not just members. Right. I mean people that need assistance of every variety. Uh, and we can get you to the help that you need. Yep, absolutely. Father, thank you very much for being here. Reach out. If you are in trouble or if you know a friend or family member that is in trouble, do the reach out. Do it first. Do it now. Stay tuned. We've got your weather coming up next.